This is 90.3 KEXP and KEXP.org worldwide. I'm John Richards. This is The Morning Show, and I am so excited to introduce LaMolo live here on The Morning Show. KEXP, LaMolo, live here on The Morning Show.
Lamolo live here on the morning show. The new album is called Swan Sea. It's out on October 11th, a big release show on the 12th that we want to talk about. It looks like a very special show. But first, could uh, you introduce the band, starting with yourself? Yes. Hello. Good morning. So, let me just grab my tea here. Um, so, my name's Megan Grandel, and I'm playing keys and guitar and singing. Um, we have Tori Anderson here. He's on Great. bass and some synth and vocal harmonies. And then we have Nathan Yasino here on drums and lots of other wizardry. Yeah, three people making this beautiful noise this morning. That is a, that's a lot of work for all you. There's a lot of multitasking. Thanks. And with the harmonies, can you talk about the harmonies a little bit, how you go about creating those? They're just beautiful on this record Thank and in this you. performance. That's, you know, I have to say... Uh, well, my two favorite things about being in music at all, they're songwriting and writing harmonies. <laughs> it's just a real joy. I, I mean, I can't really say anything other than that. I have a lot of fun making them. When did you start writing music? When did you start writing harmonies? Um, I think I wrote my first song when I was like seven or eight. Yeah. Um, what was the song? Do you remember the title? Uh, I don't remember the one from when I was eight, but my first real song that I performed at a high school talent show was called Hey Boy. Ooh, nice. How'd you do? <laughs> I won. Did you? <laughs> of course you won. Yeah, the whole district. It was very, very exciting. Wow, what do, you, what do you win for the whole whole district? Pride. Just, yeah, pride. That's exactly <laughs> right. It, it's actually probably, uh, you know, was kind of a declaration to keep going a little bit, right? Having Yeah, it was my first my first taste of performing and yeah. How did exciting. where did where's music in your life? Like your childhood? Did you I mean clearly you were you were playing music young. Was it in your family? Um well my dad, who's sitting here behind the booth, <laughs> he got a piano yep. um, for himself to learn as an adult. I was like two and I just gravitated toward it totally of my own volition and would just spend all my time banging on it to the point where he never even got a chance to touch it. So he never learned, but I lived on that piano and grew up playing it. I think I started taking lessons when I was three. Wow, so he was inspired. Yeah. And it ended up you playing the <laughs> piano. Yeah, so thanks, Dad. <laughs> Talk to me about your release party. It looks amazing. You have some um, some of our favorite musicians playing, and uh, it's October 12th. Can you tell yeah. us more? Yeah, so it is at St. Mark's Cathedral, which... I've played there a few times before, and to sing in that space really is, it's spiritual, it's otherworldly. The room has a natural six-second reverb, so it's a really cool experience. It's a beautiful old old cathedral, um, and we will be reworking our set to incorporate a whole string ensemble to be playing with us. Um, so it should be really special, and it's the first time the new record will be for sale in Seattle um, and on display and everything. So looking forward to it and excited to have Galen Distin and Brenda Sue a part of it too. Yeah, speaking of harmonies, you got yeah. more people who can <laughs> sing in that group. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be a lot of fun. And then before that, now you're touring with the artist we had on yesterday, Noah right. Gunderson. Mm -hmm. You head out on tour and I think Thursday, tomorrow, geez, tomorrow. Tomorrow. When you, tomorrow. Head, when you head up to Bellingham tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Yep. So uh, how did you team up with Noah on, the, on this tour? Noah invited us to play with him, um, and it's kind of a small world. Nate produced Noah's last record mm -hmm. and toured in his band with him. Um, and I've played shows with Noah over the like you know f over the last ten years, so it's kind of a close knit world. And he invited us along, so super grateful. Well, being familiar with with both the new records too, it's it's kind of a perfect fit. That the, the emotions and they're both just very beautiful records Thank you. that you two are playing together. Like that that is a perfect pairing in my. I'm giving a plug for this tour. Is That's what I'm doing. Awesome to hear. Thank yes. you. Yes, <laughs> um, I also want to thank you, Megan. You were you were part of Death and Music, um, our last. Um, last year mm -hmm. uh, in November. God, was, uh, that was a while ago now. I know. Um, I wanted to thank thank you for playing that. I really appreciate it. Noah had played one previously as well. Mm -hmm. And can you talk about playing um, that room and, and, and what that was for you on, on your side of it? Yeah. Well, you, just you mentioning it kind of gives me chills. That was very emotional. And I actually didn't realize I was holding on to so many emotions still. So I performed a song that's on the new record. We're not playing it today, but it's on the album. It's called Hotline. And I wrote it in memory of a friend of mine who killed himself in high school. And um, 
So I wrote the song and it was really therapeutic to write it and I'm really proud of it and I'm planning on giving it to my friend's parents um, as a gift. And But I was really struck by being in that room at your event. Yeah. I ran off the stage and just started sobbing. So yeah. Obviously I still have a lot of feelings about it all, but definitely it was a beautiful thing to be a part of. And I think like my mission as a songwriter, like first of all, I do it because it's really healing for me and such a great outlet for me personally, but it's my hope that perhaps someone else listening to a song can connect with it and find healing in some way too, or some type of human connection that helps them. And so it felt cool to be a part of that. Well, I did. I had so many people come up to me about your song and your performance. And for people not familiar with Death and Music, it's a room full of people grieving. Uh, musicians come in and play songs that mean something to them or mm -hmm. for someone who was lost. And, and your performance was was great. Thank so thank you. you. Yeah. And this, new rec and, and this new record, I'm sure, is going to connect with people as well. I, I don't think you're going to have any problem uh, with this record <laughs> connecting. I am a <laughs> huge you. fan of it. So great work. Thank you very much. That I've been listening to you since I was a wee girl in junior <laughs> high, so it's very cool to hear you say that. Thank you. And I, that makes me very old, so thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, we have Lamelo live here on the morning show, and uh, you got two more from the record. Yes, all two right. more. You ready? Yeah, it's all you. This song's called Rogue Wave.
It's KEXP, LaMolo live here on The Morning Show. Pretty. So much uh, water and imagery in this record, in those songs, those last two especially. Thank you. Were you, were you near yeah. water when you were writing these songs? You must uh, have been. Yeah, I live in a small town called Palsbo. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's kind of like always on the ferry and yeah. Puget Sound, and I love sailing. So I think my love for sailing and the water and the beauty of where we live definitely influences my songs. Well, it comes out on that one especially. Thank you. Yeah, I wish you weren't done. That was great. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah. so good luck. Thank you for coming. LaMolo Live here at KXP. And a real quick plug for our listeners who donate to KXP. Mm -hmm. Keep us independent, and this is why these sessions happen. So remember to go to KEXP.org to support the station so these sessions can continue to be. This is KEXP Seattle. Thank you. Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP.org.